watching The High Road with me, Keith Warren. Brought to you by Timber Creek Outdoors. Over the past couple of seasons, I've hunted many animals using a crossbow. Sometimes I was successful, other times I wasn't. Like when this black buck antelope was just out of range. This buck was only 35 yards. An archer that shoots a modern compound bow that's done a lot of practice would be able to make this shot. First off, I'd like to introduce you to a young friend of mine. His name is Kale Lang. Kale's just your typical seven-year-old. He loves to uh, read, write, he loves school. Uh, he's into karate. He loves to hunt and fish. He's been fishing with me since he's two years old. He's been hunting with me in the blind since he was four. At the age of five, uh, he showed interest in shooting his first deer. We um, took an M1 carbine that belonged to his grandfather and he fired that firearm and was afraid of it. Uh, the, I don't know if it was the percussion, the kick, uh, but he lost all interest in hunting or wanting to shoot his own uh, deer. And it wasn't until he was seven that he showed some interest again and I was uh, approached uh, with the use of a crossbow and we went out and practiced and uh, the very first time he pulled the trigger on the crossbow he was hooked. One of the things I like about the crossbow is that Kale only has one shot. I don't have to worry about him reloading, hurting himself, uh, I'm right there next to him. Uh, he's not afraid of it. There's no kick to it. Come up, take it off safety. Okay. Aim, squeeze it. Boy, that was good. One thing I learned about the crossbow and shooting it myself uh, is that. Uh, my effective range, or I think anybody's effective range on the crossbows is, I wouldn't shoot more than 30 yards. There you go, okay. Pull them out. Good job. Hold them down, hold them down and away. There you go. Come back and set up again. Sit on your rear this time. It's real important for a person to know where to shoot an animal with a crossbow or compound bow. And for Kale, uh, being as young as he is, uh, to know exactly where the vitals were on a white-tailed deer. Uh, I shot video of white-tailed deer. I rented hunting videos and I would freeze the deer in the picture or on TV in different positions. Some facing us, some facing away, side views, and I would, Kale and I would go over and he would point to the exact spot he was supposed to aim for. Okay, if the buck's looking at us like that, where are you going to put the crosshairs? Show me where you're going to aim for. Right there, right on the shoulder, okay. He's, he's facing us a little bit to the front, so that's where you want to shoot, so it goes right to the lung, okay. Get ready. After doing that for several weeks, uh, he has no problem in finding the vitals and making a good, clean shot. After the break, we'll watch as Kale takes his first archery buck. Don't go away. Welcome back to Hunting and Outdoor Adventures, everybody. If you just joined us, we're going along with a seven-year-old friend of mine as he takes his first buck using a crossbow. Kale's first time with a crossbow was opening morning. Uh, it was raining, uh, but he was a real trooper. He sat out there in the rain with me, and uh, right at daylight, we had a few nice does come out and had a nice spike. Uh, looked to be about a three-and-a-half-year-old spike. You can't move that much, baby. Right, move your gun to the right. Slide it. Right. Are you on him? Not yet. Not yet. I want him sideways and I want it in the shoulder. Don't 
we do turn sideways. I'll tell you when. Right on the shoulder. Right on the shoulder. Now. Let's take another look at that shot. It was perfect. A clean pass through. Now the broadhead Kale used was a 100 grain tri-lock made by Game Tracker. As you can see, the crossbow was exactly what Kale needed to get started hunting. Now crossbows may not be for everyone, but I'm telling you, they're one of the greatest recruitment tools we have to get more people not just hunting, but bow hunting. After Kale shot the uh, spike, uh, we waited our 30 minutes. We went back and got uh, his younger brother, uh, our official tracker as we call him now, uh, Kobe, who is four years old. And uh, we went and uh, just uh, 30 yards from where Kale fired the crossbow, we found a nice spike, his first buck. There you go, buddy. Your first white-tailed deer. What do you think? I wish I could shoot one too. I like it. You like it? 